Ethan got that bloody lamp, and it almost killed him. Now back into that rotten house. Let's hope the Ominous D series arm is directly behind that door. Piano playing. Cursed, somebody's here. That's exactly what Ethan needs right now. More company. Whoa! Either that piano is haunted or somebody, or rather something, is hiding here. Better not wasting too much time on this. If it were aggressive, it would already have been putting his claws into Ethan's neck. There! It fits perfectly and unlocks the door. As Ethan opens the door, he sees nothing but pitch black darkness. A cold moldy stench hits his nose and chilled him to the bone. Every bit of him were against going inside that room. This part of the house seems very old. Although it was uncannily calm overall, there was always some creaking and Ethan could hear the wind howling from everywhere. As it is typical in such situations, the flashlight starts to flicker, as if this is an unholy spot where light is absolutely unwanted. A heavy sound, as if somebody ran against the door. Somebody is playing with Ethan, and Ethan is about to lose that game. It's impossible that this ball just fell down accidentally. Ethan's nervousness reached the next level. He constantly felt an entity around each corner, no matter if it, there was any. This fear made him be too cautious, trying to check every corner. This whole floor here is a single nursery. Probably it is, or was, Evelyn's. Are those black figures on that painting the moldy guys Ethan encountered several times? So they are her family. More old puppet parts. Is she fed up with them and need more toys? Toys like Ethan to make a new family members? Another picture. She's a real artist, isn't she? This looks like a boat. Probably the one in that bayou. But why is it important? Probably she got more family members from it. This slimy sound. Those mold guys made the same sound. Better prepare yourself, Ethan. In this darkness, it is crucial that you see them first. The moldy stench is getting stronger. 
This air here must be full of spores. But this is the least problem Ethan has right now. There, the next room is completely covered with that black mold. Also, the door is slightly open. Maybe there is a way around this? Ethan is now shaking on his whole body. His nervousness grew into paranoia. His concentration slowly vanished, and more and more hallucinations appeared. Something is wrong with her. Everything is wrong here. Did the door really close right now? Or is it another of Ethan's hallucinations? Nobody in here either. Was it the wind or a hallucination after all? And now the flashlight flickers again. Stay away. Ethan's heart began to run. She was directly in front of him. This was no hallucination. It was for real. He could almost hear her breathing. Ethan must be close to his aim right now. But what if she is just warning him to go away? What will happen if Ethan gets what he is looking for? Again that ball. She is mocking Ethan with that. But why is she not attacking? Maybe she wants him to leave, but if she is the evil's origin, she should be able to finish him easily. But she doesn't. That means Ethan is somehow valuable for her. Or she is observing, ready to strike as soon as Ethan takes whatever she keeps. Seems as if there is nothing here. A secret passage to a small room. This note here shows the room from up view. The red circle indicates the secret passage. Finally, this is the altar. The 
rotten corpse of a girl. The arm looks mutated, so this series means some kind of mutation. Oh god, I guess this is it. As Ethan took the arm, he felt a strong, uncanny appearance around him, as if the monsters came out from under the bed. That must have been Evelyn. After all, she looks like a regular child. But appearances can be deceiving. Ethan felt as if he woke up in a completely different room. Weird paintings are now all over the walls and the moldy smell became more... rotten. That explains the rotten smell. She called for her family now. This could be tough, concerning that Ethan can only see what he catches with his flashlight. Ethan's nervousness and fear now totally vanished. This first fight filled his blood with adrenaline. He was totally focused. Is Evelyn still here, or did she just call for her friends? Why wouldn't she try to kill Ethan herself? Either she is not strong enough, or she doesn't really want Ethan to die. This one had a strong and mutated arm, similar to the one in the incinerator room. Probably the longer they are like this, the more they will mutate. The adrenaline in Ethan's blood was still pumping. He was shaking, but focused, his finger on the trigger of his shotgun. No sounds around Ethan anymore. Is she gone? Actually, hard to believe. Did you 
find it? Yeah, I got it. Are we really gonna be able to make serum with this thing? It'll be fine. After we make it, we can get out of here. Together. I'll be waiting for you in the trailer. All right. Ethan was still excited from all the fights. He even fired his shotgun by accident. This fighting left some wounds in Ethan's sanity for sure. Almost done. Now fast to the trailer in synthesizing the serum. Whatever this D is referring to, but this arm seems like to have a face mutated in the upper half. What the hell? Where the hell are you? You know, never mind. We only need the head, and you've got it. And this is gonna help me and me, right? Hey, buddy! I thought you should know. I decided that Zoe needed a timeout. She and Mia are here with me. And they're keeping each other company. Just let them both go! What do you need them for? Nah, uh, uh, that's family business, Ethan, and not your concern, understand? <clears throat> now, if you want the head, feel free to come by any time and I'll give it to you. But only if you participate in a little, uh, activity I've put together just for you. What activity? Oh, 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 I know you're excited. But don't worry, it's not going anywhere. First step I need you to take, <laughs> partner, is for you to take a peek inside the fridge in the trailer there. Fuck you. Oh, come on now, don't be like that. You want to have fun, don't you? Now, look in the fridge. Of course, it would have been too easy. What did this son of a bitch hide in that fridge? It's the deputy's head, with a message. The pig is waiting in the dissection room. Ah! Uh. Uh.